Julia, come over. Oh, I was trying to hide. <laughs> no, don't hide. Welcome back. <laughs> it's so great to see you. We, for the second time only, are giving you the opportunity to get not just the Unitas, the Unitas Elite. That's right, the Elite version. Bigger, faster, more powerful and quieter. That's it. And it looks so sexy. Look at it. It's shiny, it's glossy, it comes in nice colours. Oh, yeah. It is really exciting to have this back. But more than that, we've got it at 50% off. How good is that? And Unbelievable. a 30-day trial. The perfect thing is healthy treats for the kids and mums and dads, right? Yeah, everyone. Absolutely everyone. So you don't have to be a kid or a mum or dad. You can just be a normal person that likes to eat healthy and loves your sweets and your desserts and your ice creams and really enjoy it and have a lot of fun with it. And to be honest, it looks, and more importantly, tastes like real soft serve ice cream without the guilt, without the sugar, without all the extra calories. So if you're like most of us out there and you're fairly health conscious, stay tuned. Now, the really early news I've got to tell you is, as of about two minutes ago, my producer said almost 10 have gone before we started the show. So I'm going to take a big deep breath, give you the details, and we're going to come back with Julia and talk all about the Yonana's revolution. But here it is, the elite healthy dessert maker from Yonana's. How about 50% off? $99.50, available in black or the red. And as we mentioned, that really powerful, almost commercial grade motor that's in here, really super quiet for you as well. One item number you'll need for the hour, 102874. 102874. Not only do you get the machine as well, but you get a fabulous booklet that's got about 120 healthy recipe ideas in there for you as well. And I'll show you that in just a tick. But, of course, this is your way to be able to go ahead and make some of the yummiest desserts. Of course, you'll think Yonanas. We're talking bananas, we are. However, you can add all sorts of things. I can see macadamias light up. You've got apples, pears. Oh, chalky biscuits. Choc mint, I should say. <laughs> Lots of awesome ideas. It's all packed in here, which is the 120 recipes, so you won't be caught short. It's absolutely brilliant. Glossy pictures. Love this. And some of the ones I was just eyeing off earlier. Check this out. You've got that wonderful carbon cow cookie dough. That is going to be beautiful. A little bit naughty. Or you can be totally healthy if, you, if you'd like to as well. Cranberry orange, just to name a few. That's it. Well, Eileen, who is um, one of the creators and actually designed the machine, um, probably four or five years ago now, actually can't have dairy. Ah. And like me, can't have wheat and we don't like to have sugar. So this was really created for people who wanted a healthy option. So of course, if you don't care too much or you're entertaining, you can put anything through here pretty much. But definitely, if you are health conscious, this was actually created for you. So for the second time only, we're showing you this elite model. You talked about Eileen earlier just a moment ago. Uh, by the way, red is already on the move. So that one is the fastest seller right now. It's in this wonderful candy apple red. 102874. Don't go anywhere. We're going to have a listen to Eileen. We're going to check in with her. We'll be back and get Yonanas cooking. Here it is, 9950. Love the Yonanas, but tell us how did it come about? How was it created? So this is an idea that my husband and I had about 10 years ago. And we teamed up actually with a high school friend, somebody we trusted with this idea. He had the engineering experience and the manufacturing experience. And so we worked with his engineers for about four years and we went through all several different models of Yonanas until we knew this is how we want to get this to market. And we only launched two years ago. We just celebrated our second birthday and now we've gone worldwide we are in Europe Asia Canada Australia um, we are all over the place and it's just been so humbling and exciting mm. to see people are loving Yonanas for the same reason it's fast it's fun it's easy it's delicious mm. and now after two years we've introduced Yonanas Elite and this is really what we say is for the ultimate Yonanas experience you know this is the most powerful Yonanas we've introduced it's the quietest model of Yonanas that we've introduced and this is perfect for entertaining if you want to entertain for the family or you want to have guests come over this is the perfect model for that so there you go the new and improved the up-to-date elite much quieter and of course a lot more capacity with it as well 99.50 um, we're gonna get started shall we was there sure. anything else we need to mention or should we just get stuck into we it we can get into it what I want to show you is the bananas so we talk about your nanas a lot of people say bananas. Mm -hmm. Now, just to make a point, you don't have to use bananas. You oh, yes. can just use uh, fruit. You can use other fruit. You can use things like um, frozen yogurt. You can use a whole range of stuff. But if you do use bananas, there's a reason to use bananas because they... There's a banana guide here. There's a banana guide. 
It is. <laughs> Explain it for us, Peter. I know well, you were... Uh, the spotted one, the leopard light one. It. If they're all a bit black and really gone off, they're, you, they're too old. No, no. They're retired bananas. These are the ones you want, and they look like they're going off, but they're actually perfectly made. That's it. Most people will turn their nose up at them or think, oh, I don't know if I could use them. A lot of people keep them to make cakes out of... But in the end, you're just having a sweet treat that's really not that great for you. So this is a healthy way to use up those spotted bananas. So I've got a few here. Yep. They're actually getting a bit soft as well, but oftentimes they can go brown just in the fruit bowl without them actually being ripe. But the riper they are, the sweeter they are, the creamier they are, and the better they are to be digested. So if you do have a bit of problems sometimes, get the riper fruits, always better for you. Keep you regular. And uh, what you need to do with them is just peel them and freeze them. Please make sure you peel your fruit first because you'll never be able to once they're frozen. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So peel point. your fruit first, freeze them in a container or a plastic bag, and then when you're ready to have your bananas, you just pull them out. I usually wait five to seven minutes just so that they get a little bit uh, soft and glistening, and you can just give them a little bit of um, a give when you squeeze them, and then you just pop them through really so, easy. So they're ripened and ready to go. They are. So let's 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 make. Are we doing a? By the way, a dozen in the red have already gone, so that's a popular one. Brand new and elite ninety nine fifty. So uh, sorry to interrupt. No, you're right. Well, we'll get started just on the plain ones, just to show you the texture and the consistency of how they come out. To be honest, this is the first time I've seen the Elite in this show, and I have to say, it's a lot quieter, and it seems to move through the ingredients a lot quicker. So that's what you're getting with the Elite model. A two times powerful, more powerful motor with the Elite, and a lot quieter. So when you're going ahead and making your bananas, your bananas, back with any other ingredients, and we are going to do a lot of different recipes today, uh, Julia gets quite excited and she'll be going and making stacks of really yummy stuff. But see how it's like your own soft serve ice cream shop in your, in your kitchen? I was going to say go. in the lounge room. <laughs> but I'll be doing it in the lounge room. I get excited every time at the fact that that's literally just bananas and it comes out so thick and creamy. And as you said, it looks, it tastes, it feels just like soft serve ice cream. And I'll give you a go later as well, pushing down on um, the shoot, because it's actually phenomenally easier compared to the original. Should I try? Yeah, please do. Look, it, it, Let it, us know what it's like. Absolutely. is one of the best things to do on this show is to actually consume. Remember, you've got a 30-day money-back guarantee. Uh, any questions you'd like to ask to this hour, we're live and interactive. If you've got some great recipe ideas that you'd like to share with us, any questions? I know that Emma's already written in asking, can you make chocolate ice cream or similar? Yeah, certainly you can. Just sprinkle your fruit with some cocoa or something like that before cacao. you put it through, or cacao, that's it. Or you can oh. actually add chocolate pieces in as well, um, or chocolate sauce as well. So you can make the chocolate, you can make that exactly chocolate just by sprinkling some cocoa or some cacao on your bananas before okay. you pop them through. Silly question. I know we're going to look inside the machine a little bit later, yep. but it's so creamy, mm. you know. I mean, you would expect this to be maybe icy and a bit sort of watery. or so. It's not. It is creamy smooth, thick banana ice cream. That's what it tastes like that without the preservatives. It. Exactly, and it's actually the fibre in the fruit that gives it that creaminess and that sort of texture. So, obviously, the patented blade technology actually emulsifies and basically squishes your frozen fruit so it's still cold, it's still thick, but it changes its texture and the fibre is what makes it extra creamy. It's so, any high fibre fruit will make it really creamy. Anything less fibrous will be more like a sorbet, but that's delicious as well and I'll show you a few of them later. Can you have this for dessert and feel guilt-free then? Absolutely. You know, there's a part of the brain that goes, oh, really, I shouldn't, I shouldn't have too much of this because it's mm -hmm. indulgent. But then you get them out and you do... I mean, that's probably two or two, three bananas there. And you just do that and you think, oh, that's not so bad after all. Two bananas and a bowl of ice cream. Which would you oh, prefer to eat? Have it for breakfast. Absolutely. Have it for breakfast. I know that Emma also wanted to know, um, could you make ice cream that doesn't have, say, the bananas in there, if you, if you so wish? Yes, you definitely could. So as I said just a little bit earlier, you can use just frozen fruit. The higher fibre will give it more creaminess. The less fibre will be more like sorbet. But you definitely do not need to use bananas. We're going to make a few sorbet recipes later. And anything that you like, just take out the bananas and add it in with something else. Mangoes are really beautiful and creamy, and the melons as well give a really creamy texture. Gee, good. You must have gone to a really good high school. <laughs> I went to a very good high school. We just found out that we went to the same high school. Unbelievable. It was um, one of those moments where nobody knows. That's it. It was one of those schools that no one's ever heard of, so you never say it. Yes, I'm the same. I'm just going to say it. He'll have no idea. Down in Bangor and in, in the Shire or Inneborough, I went, I went to Inneborough. <laughs> so if you went to Inneborough, email us. 
Oh, it's crazy. Even uh, a few people here went to Innova. It's a small world, isn't it? So, hey, producer at tvsc.com.au. It is a popular show already. I've got to say, um, we've almost doubled the amount that we thought we were going to sell 10 minutes into the show. Uh, a stack of stock already. It's only the second time ever we've seen the Elite, and we're taking 50% off. So if you ever wanted to have guilt-free desserts, grab one. If you thought... We're bored at home when it comes to snack time for the kids. Grab one. We've got at least another 10 recipes to show you. I'll just run through the specs really quickly and we'll come back with Julia. Healthy dessert maker creates treats that are low in fat, zero in cholesterol, high in fibre and minerals. You get the booklet there. It's got about, goodness me, we're talking about 120 different recipe ideas in there too, which is just fabulous. The clean-up is really easy, which I, I think is fantastic. You've got uh, the perfect way to be able to control all of your ingredients. So if you're a little bit sensitive, it's perfect for you. Uh, and of course, you can make incredible combinations. All natural, two times more powerful. The Elite, it's a quieter operation. And you've got a, a warranty that's three years, so you're really shopping with confidence today. 102874. It's your entertainer's bundle. It comes with all the recipe ideas. But if you've got friends coming over, you've got the kids, you've got the grandkids over. I think this really makes dessert making ideal for most of us out there because what's yeah. one of the last things we serve up after a dinner party is dessert. Exactly. Quite often we're judged on our dessert rather than maybe the fabulous meal that we've made. But uh, yeah. more ideas? Yes, yeah, so this is the entertainer's model. So I've done a few takes on traditional recipes turned into Yonana's recipes. So this is going to be a caramel apple pie. It's based on a few bananas, just to give a bit of creaminess, but basically some apples. I'm going to sprinkle them with some cinnamon and then we're going to add some medjool dates in. Medjool dates, when they go through the machine, give a really caramely-like texture. Yeah. Just make sure you're taking the seeds out. Okay? Gotcha. And you did this last time with dates. I have to say, there's one brand of ice cream, I can't say it, but uh, does something that tastes very similar <laughs> and it's quite expensive and it's a lot of sugar in there too. So this is quite That's natural it. and really, really healthy and yummy uh, as well. Uh, there you go, the dates. So that gives you that little bit of a caramelly texture. And you'll see this move through the Onana's machine really smooth. I mean, how it comes out, you'll be almost kind of having a double take, I think, the first time you try it. That's what I'm like. Yeah. I'm like, is that really good for you? Have you ever thought about going to a gelato store? You know, you go to some of those fancy ones, only four or five bucks a scoop. And they might have dates and nuts and macadamias and, and what you know, a few little sprinkles, and you're charging ten bucks for two scoops. Now, you can put whatever you want in your Yonana's machine, you know, uh, relatively, uh, when it comes to ingredients. Remember, peel your bananas, peel your mangoes, peel uh, the apples, and I think pears and things like that as well. However, I mean, you look at that, I don't know if anybody can think about what that looks like. There's another brand of ice cream. It's sort of one of those little boutique little tubs you get in your, maybe your local little store. It's $10 or $15 per little small tub. That looks the same, mm. but yet it's guilt-free. Yum, it's delicious. And you're exactly right. Just take those normal recipes that you love or those normal flavours that you love and experiment and make them up. Just a note on that, I yep. did peel the apples. You don't have to peel fruit that you normally eat the peel on. Okay but I just like it because it makes it smoother. Look at that. Look at that. And um, I think you did that last time when I tasted it. The dates, when they go through mm. there, turn, they go, they caramelise. They do. They go all gooey and sweet. You've got little chunks in them. Mm. That is awesome. I, I'm salivating mm -hmm. by myself. I know how good that is. It's delicious. That is amazing. And if you are serving that as a dessert, maybe pop it in a little waffle cone um, or pop it in a nice glass and sprinkle some, maybe some toasted nuts on top or some toasted oats or something so that you've got that crumbly texture. And there, it's a proper dessert and no one would really know that that's a banana base or an apple, an apple base, just frozen banana. I thought you were also going to say a little liqueur could be drizzled over there. You could. You That'd could be a bit that. naughty. If you're having a dinner party, why not? Maybe a rum and raisin. We've had a suggestion from Michael in our control room. Good one. That's a good one. Michael, well done. Email us your suggestions. Yes. That is amazing. I'm going to save myself. I'll just have one spoonful out of each one, shall I? Okay, we can have a How many are we doing today? How many different recipes? We've got eight recipes. Yep. Mm -hmm. You're only mm -hmm. having a spoonful of each, and don't yeah. forget, it's guilt-free. Exactly. It's guilt-free. <laughs> All right.